Hello everyone. Today we are going to uh, discuss about the output base used in Java. Come, let's see. The first type of output base will be converting Java expression, uh, mathematical expression to Java statements. So, or vice versa. So, the given problem is x is equal to square root of a cube plus b cube plus c cube. So, we can say double x is equal to math dot sqrt first, then the power of a comma 3 plus math dot power of b comma 3 plus math dot power of c comma 3. The second question is, write the corresponding Java statement or expression for the following mathematical statements. 3 uh, r s to the power of 2 r plus 4 s. So, it is written as 3 in minus r uh, into math dot power of s comma 2 comma 2 into r plus 4 into s. The third one is, you can see two lines given, it is math dot abs and math dot exp of y minus y. And the fourth one is square root of minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So, minus b plus math dot sqrt of math dot pow of b comma 2 minus 4 into a, a into c divided by 2 into a again bracket. a plus b divided by c plus d whole cube. So, a plus b plus so math dot power of c plus d the whole cube is given like this. The next one you can see uh, the statements which is dealing with unary operators. So, x value given is 10. Uh, so, x value given is 11. Then you have to find plus plus x. So, it becomes 12. And finally, 10 into plus plus x minus 1 will give you 10 into 12 minus 1. So, it is 120 minus 1 which is 119. The next one is x value is 11 plus plus x and plus x plus plus we need to find. So, the answer goes like this. Now again x equal to 2, x plus is equal to, so how do we bring it? So this is how the answers will get stored. Here I have shown you step by step how it works. So, I think it will be easy when you sit and execute it or sit and do the dry run step by step. So, it will be useful to you. <clears throat> so, all these problems are based on plus plus and minus minus it is unary operators hope it will be useful but you have to sit and work on each problem individually these are the very very important questions uh, when we consider the board exam this year hope it will be useful for you also you have to sit and work Here you see b is given within single quotes and it, it will take the ASCII value of b. So, b plus 10 is 76. So, again it will convert. The same with the next problem also. So, you should be getting the answer. So, whenever you get a problem like this with a short hand operator x plus equal to or x uh, slash equal to or x modulus equal to, first do the right hand side, then apply with the left hand side values. You bring it out and then apply. So, the answer will be easy for you to identify. This is again iterative statement. What will be the output of the following? So, it is given a equal to 6, I have applied, a equal to 4, I have applied, and the condition is a is less than or equal to 4. After the condition, it has to enter the loop and it will check. So, this goes as false. Then, here it is 12. And again, you can see 12, 4, true and true. And here, the answer will be 12. Because it will not, if the condition is false, it will convert. Same thing, I have shown the iteration 1 to 10. So, 1 to not 10. 1 to 9 because it is less than 10. Everywhere it is true, so it will be printing the value this way. So, answer will be 1 to 9.
it also same thing m modulus 3 you can just see how it works every time the loop gets executed here the loop gets executed thrice and the output will be 5 and 10 so when it is the first iteration m is 5 output is 5 the first iteration second iteration 10 and it is 5 and 10 third iteration becomes 15 so the loop will exit so whatever was there the previous value it is 5 and 10 here the loop will not get executed because the condition is false so directly it will print the next statement following the loop that is i into 4 phi into 4 is 20 same thing i have just shown you step by step how it works you can just go through once so i give you a little bit of pause or you can just pause the video and then uh, check how it works same here i have shown you all the output step by step so that you understand so please do it uh, in a table manner so that everything will be easy for you to understand see i have shown you the table manner a b and how it works i have done, done the dry run accordingly so it works accordingly I have shown the final value what will be the output to be printed so every time how the accumulators are changing here also 1 by 3 float so the casting will happen so it is 0 So the next one, please do wait for if and switch case statements. Uh, I'll be posting it very early. Hope it is useful to you. Please sit and work. All the very best children.